It's official. As of today, I am a film photography hipster. And in this video, we're going to shoot some roles and we're going to talk about the process of shooting film. Let's go. Today we are in the city of Den Haag. You might pronounce it as The Hague. And we're going to shoot some film. I got some black and white film from Ilford and we got some color film. And we're going to experiment with the different looks and the different feels. And I'm going to be talking about the way I process my film and the way I digitalize my film. So first off, let's go inside the station and uh, let's see what we can come up with. Let's go. So I just finished shooting my first roll of film. Actually, it was already loaded. I took a few shots at home. It's not really a full roll, but still, we're done now with the first roll. This was a black and white film, and uh, we shot it all in here at the central station of uh, The Hague. The first thing that I really noticed, of course, is that the process of shooting film is very, very much slower than shooting digital, which is of course a good thing and also a bad thing. I'm used to shooting with my Ricoh GR3, basically a point and shoot camera. It's very easy. The autofocus is very fast. And uh, when you are shooting film, you really have to dial things down and to accept the fact that everything is much slower. This also has some, some very good things because it makes you think more about the shots you are taking. You have to think it through, you have to compose your shot, you have to wait for the right moment and then you have to take your shot. And I said in the intro that I'm now a film photography hipster. Uh, and with hipster I don't mean it in a negative way. Film is becoming very popular and there's a new generation of, uh, of, of people shooting film. And that's, that's, a, that's a very good thing. With that being said, we got uh, three more rolls for today. We got two color and one more Ilford XP2 uh, 400 black and white film which I already used so I think I'm going to use one of the color films as well so uh, let's go for the Fuji color now Because the process of shooting film is a lot slower than shooting digital, you have to come up with other ways to make your photos interesting, uh, which of course can be using the light, using shadows, using nice composition. But because the light is so flat today, we're going to try something else, which is shooting portraits of the people in the street. So that's what we are going to do now. Thank you. Film over straatfotografie, mag ik even een portret van jou maken? Dat je met je, met je pet en je capuchon over je hoofd... Uh, top. Yes, dan kan je even in de camera kijken. Top man, dankjewel. Uh, vraag stellen. We zijn bezig met een uh, video over straatfotografie. Mag ik misschien een portretfoto van je maken? Top. Nice. Top man. It's the money. Yeah, looking good. Yeah. We're making a small documentary about street photography, meeting people in the street, stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah. All right, man, thanks. Yeah. Have a nice day. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Money, money. Ben de mensen hier op straat aan het fotograferen. En u heeft zo'n mooie, karakteristieke baard. Dat ik zo, zet u ook even een foto. Is dat goed? Ja. Yeah? Perfect. Why you pay me? <laughs> A lot of gratitude. <laughs> okay, where are you from? Sudan. From, sorry? Sudan. Sudan. Oh, cool. And you live here? No. She's only here to work and I'm visiting. Visiting? Nice. How do you like it? Uh, pretty much. Yeah? Yeah, yeah? Good? Pretty, pretty much. Have you only been to The Hague or to yeah, other cities as well? To The Hague and now we're going to Amsterdam. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's very different. It's really, really nice. Yeah? In here. I like it. Okay. First time here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice people, right? Yeah. <laughs> Good. I love it. I love yeah. the streets, I love the architecture. Yeah. Yeah, people are nice. So. Yeah. If you have the time, you should definitely visit Rotterdam as well. Yeah. It's very, very different from, from Amsterdam and The Hague. And uh, Gouda, Gouda. 
It's, it's, it's very close to Rotterdam and to The Hague. It's my hometown. Oh, really? Good cheese, and it's oh, a very nice as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's that weird. The name of the cheese? Yeah, 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 Gouda cheese. Yeah, I always promote, I always promote Gouda, yeah. <laughs> uh, you got us when you mentioned cheese. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's good, that's good. All right, yeah, yeah. so I'll just take one photo of you guys, yeah? Okay, can you just stand over here, please? So that's about it when it comes to taking the photos and now we're going to go inside of the shop and see how they develop the film. Shooting film, the process is a lot slower, which for me makes it a lot harder. I'm really used to shooting digital and checking my viewfinder to see if I, I like the way I shoot. I'm not really sure whether I like the images I came up with today. You of course have already seen them, so let me know in the comments below what you think. I'm very new to this and I'm very excited to getting better at shooting analog and to make videos about this of course. So if you like it, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And of course I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.